Hey, this is Matt from the Sex Spirit. I'm going to show you uses for the utility, some little tricks and stuff that you can use the utility for. It has so many great uses for it. You're going to love it. Now watch. First one, number one, volume automation. I'm going to add a utility right here. Use the gain here to automate volume. And you know what's cool about this is if you do this, you can later use your faders to mix with post volume automation, which is great because previously you would have had to go back select all of your automation, drag it up and down if you want to fade it up or down, but not with the utility. If you use the uh, a utility for volume automation, then boom, you could just use your fader post volume automation to mix your, your song, which is super cool. So that's one of the best uses of the utility. I definitely recommend checking it out. I think you'll like it. Second cool thing, utility. Right here on my master track, check this out. I got a negative 20 dB. And what I use that for is I use it for, you can use it for a few things. One, okay, so if I turn this on, it's gonna turn the master down 20 decibels, which is great for direct monitoring. If I'm recording vocals and stuff through my Focusrite audio interface or some audio interfaces, you'll notice that the direct monitor always seems a lot lower than the master. I always have to turn down the master so that I can hear my direct monitor. But with this little negative 20 dB uh, utility right here, I just turn on on the master and boom, there I go. It's set right for my direct monitor. Now my direct monitor, when I'm recording vocals or other instruments and stuff, I can hear myself real clear. The master's not too loud like it usually is. So that's a great, great little feature that. The other cool thing, there's something called the Fletcher Monsoon Curve. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Check it out. Look it up online. But it, what it is, is it's you hear differently when volume is different. So depending on how many decibels, like certain decibels you hear more high end, certain decibels you hear more low end. So on a lot of these big mixing boards and stuff, you'll see a diminish button at negative 10 dBs. So you could add another utility just for a negative 10 dB. And what that will do is it'll allow you to if you ever want to check your mix at a different dB, you turn that on, boom, you can hear it a little quieter, which means your ears will be a little, they'll sense things a little differently. And a lot of like big mixing boards and stuff have that diminish button. It allows you to check your mix at a lower dB and you'll hear it a little differently. Number three with the utility. The bass mono feature is so cool. Check this out. This is new. This is a new, I think in Ableton 10, they have a, a bass mono button. So check this out here, I got. I got my bases here. Let's see that we're in the chorus. Now this puts everything below 500 hertz right here into mono on this track. And a bass mono is a good mixing trick. It's good to keep your bass frequencies, your low bass frequencies in mono. And if you do that, it just, it just helps strengthen your mix. So here you can choose the slider. Anything below this will be in mono on that track, which is super cool. That means you can put a lot of your bases into mono. I have it on all these, see, they're all on on mono and then it keeps the high end this this bass actually has some high end it's got like a little uh, uh saw or something on the top which be spreads around you know it'll be it'll be kind of on the sides a little bit so that's another cool feature number three bass mono check that out in here if you want to hear it you can you can hear where it goes mono anything below that's going to be mono and that's a great mixing trick all right another cool thing is um the opposite of that which is stereo width okay you can actually right here you can pan stuff out to the sides this would be good on on stuff that you want to sparkle out on the sides maybe higher frequencies and stuff like pads and things like that so maybe like on some keys or something let's say i got arpeggios here let me unfreeze this track add a utility boom arpeggios See how wide that got? To mono down here. Isn't that cool? You can widen stuff out. Maybe put a saturator before to just give it a little excitement. And that will widen some of your frequencies out. You do anything bass below that there. So I'll suck everything in. This below 5,000 hertz, put it in, in, bait, in mono, and then widen everything out on the sides there. That, that's kind of cool. So that's a good trick. So you can widen stuff, you can you can mono the basses. Uh, the other cool thing that I was gonna show you, just a little trick here. I play guitar. So let's let's say I have a, a little guitar track here for an input for a guitar, um, and you use a tuner, right? Well, I came up with this little trick. Sometimes when you tune, you wanna mute your guitar, especially if you're playing live. I've been trying to use Ableton Live more. So uh, watch this. Go here, go here, group this, boom. 
All right, let's put this to mute. So now I can tune stuff. And when I turn on this tuner, it'll allow me to tune my, my guitar and it's going to mute the output so people won't hear me tuning. So that's kind of cool. It's got a mute button right there, which is great. Another little feature of the utility. So cool, right? So that's a little trick. Um, the other cool thing, super, super cool. Um, check your mix and mono. You probably heard this. If you've been mixing, you, you've heard about it. Check your mix and mono. Turn your turn your your master, put it on your master, put it on mono, and you can check your mix and just see what's too loud, see what's not. Check your mix. It's just easier to tell when you have everything in mono on the master. And then take it off when you're done. It's a good check. It's a good check for mixing. So that's some cool things. You got bass mono, stereo with mono, full mono, a mute button. Uh, you got your, your gain. You could do volume automation right there. Isn't that cool? Okay, uh, one more cool thing, little little trick. Let's say you're doing drums. You could do phase change right here. If you got a lot of mics on your drums, sometimes you want to change the phase on a mic or two to get them to line up with the other mics. So they're all in phase. That You could just use this little phase button here to switch them. All right, so that's the utility. I hope I got you excited to use some tricks with the utility. I'm going to show you how to just put it on a default audio track. Because uh, honestly, it's great to have it on a lot of tracks. You might just want to have it on your default audio track. How do you do that? Watch. Let's say, see, I already have it on mine. So anytime I load a track, it opens up with the utility. But if you don't have it on there, um, go ahead and add one. And I use a uh, live enhancement suite to double click. I'll show you how to get that later. To double click and add effects down here in the device menu. Go ahead and uh, add a utility. And then on your uh, audio track, just uh, right click on it. Go save as default audio track. And it's going to save it as default audio track. Now, anytime you load an audio track, it's going to load with the utility on there. Hey, so I hope you got you excited about using the utility. This is Matt from the Second Spirit. Check it out. The most important thing is volume automation. You'll never want to go back. Once you start using the utility for volume automation, you're going to want to use it all the time. So check it out. Those are some tips for you. Uh, link in the bio or show notes for uh, Live Enhancement Suite, which, which allows you to uh, right-click and add stuff. It allows you to do a lot of cool things, a lot of keyboard shortcuts and stuff. It's free. Link in my bio or show notes. And also a keyboard uh, shortcuts PDF for Ableton 10. Uh, link in my note, my show notes or my bio, free too. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this helps you. Check out the utility. Bye.